Another episode of Stand Tall. It is 12 7 2024. We're in the book of Proverbs, chapter 17. Better a dry crust with peace than a house full of feasting with strife. An intelligent servant will rule over a worthless son and will share the inheritance with the brothers. The crucible for silver and the furnace for gold, but the tester of hearts is the Lord. The evil man gives heed to wicked lips and listens to falsehood from a mischievous tongue. He who mocks the poor blasphemes his maker, and he who is glad at calamity will not go unpunished. Right, so if you're happy at the evil that happens, you will be punished. So whether that be recent events or things that, you know, maybe through science and research people have caused on their own. We'll see, grandchildren are the crown of old men, and the glory of children is their parentage. Fine words are out of place in a fool. How much more lying words in a noble? So like a fool who is saying fine words and speaks eloquently and has big, you know, a big vocabulary, it, it actually doesn't, you, you can tell what, when they're using it correctly and when they're not using it correctly. And then so much, so much more, it's saying lying words in a noble man. So somebody who is of good and noble nature, who is lying, it doesn't sound right because somebody who is naturally honest you're going to be able to tell through so much that they aren't being honest with you for it is in their nature to be good and kind and honest a man who has a bribe to offer rates it a magic stone at every turn it brings him success he who covers up a misdeed fosters friendship but he who gossips about it separates friends A single reprimand does more for a man of intelligence than a hundred lashes for a fool. I like that one. It's very powerful. A single reprimand is just enough for a man who is smart. But a hundred lashes are for the fool. Right, so a hundred lash, more more than a hundred lashes, it takes you to learn the lesson. But a wise and intelligent man can learn it after just one mistake. One rebellion alone is the wicked man bent. On rebellion alone is the wicked man bent, but a merciless messenger will be sent against him. Face a bear robbed of her cubs, but never a fool in his folly. That one is powerful. Face a bear robbed of her cubs, but never a fool in his folly. Suffer no fools, as it were. Right? Do not suffer fools. Because a fool in his folly is probably more dangerous than a mama bear who's lost her cubs. That is straight from the book of Proverbs. If a man returns evil for good from his house, evil will not depart. All right, so this is the exact opposite of paying it forward. This is like if you, if good things happen to you and then you do bad things in return, evil will never leave. You need to take the evil that is done to you and turn it into good. The start of strife is like the opening of a dam. Therefore, check a quarrel before it begins. And so that's where we'll end. And I think that that's a great place to end saying, check the quarrel before it begins. Because if we are going to start a fight of some sort, then the start of strife is like opening a dam. It's like, it's like a Pandora's box of endless, you know, endless strife, endless, you know, just terrible, vile things happening and it never ends. So as we move forward, into the weekend and looking into next week let's think about that as we communicate with our peers at work and as we move through things in life just know that maybe we need to check ourselves before we wreck ourselves